Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Statmatic, um, and I'm just making this video to showcase uh, Vol Power Siphon in 3.0. Uh, it's probably one of the most fun builds I've played this patch, uh, and it clears uh, all content in the game. Um, with a little bit of uh, respecking, it can even you know kill Shaper and, and Guardians. Um, and it runs almost every single uh, map mod except for uh, Cannot Leech. And if you're really careful, you can run Reflect. Um, but hopefully, uh, some people will see it and they'll want to play it, or it'll at least show them uh, what's possible in uh, 3.0. So, hope you enjoy. So, I'm going to do a couple runs with uh, more expensive and less expensive gear. Then, I'll move on to uh, explaining my gear choices as well as uh, passive tree choices um, and just overall going over how the the build works and what skill gems I use. Okay, so this is going to be showcasing the build on Shaped Dunes. Um, I've chosen a, a pack size map uh, and I've also put four sections on uh, dunes itself, which is a little exaggerated, but I wanted to um, show as many mobs as possible, so uh, two additional um, pack size, and then this one's just a unique bosses drop an item. Uh, so let's go. We basically just uh, use KB to get our souls for ball power cycle. Sit here and kill the harbinger for a second. So for this next run, I wanted to showcase gear that um, you know, most people can get. Um, you know, just the generic Piscators with a, a Tabula. Uh, I took out uh, Added Lightning because uh, I want to show that if you have a 5 link, um, it's definitely possible to clear with this build. Um, although I would recommend a Queen of the Forest, obviously, for the movement speed. Um, but, uh, you know, but this is an easy item to acquire. And, you know, most people don't have a headhunter, so I swap that for Abyssco's, um, which, you know, helps with the Rampage, but you can really use any belt. Um, I just like Abyssco's. Um, and I have uh, resexited my maps, so Invasion Boss, Magic, uh, additional Magic Rare and, and Normal Monsters, um, Monsters that Heal, and Barrels. So let's uh, see how this goes. Obviously slower since uh, I'm still running all my Queen of the Forest flasks. Um, not running Queen of the Forest means that you don't have to run, uh, you know, the Jade and the if you're running a Stib Knight, it's Stib Knight. But uh, as you can see, the build still clears extremely well if not as ridiculous speeds with uh, the Headhunter as well as Queen of the Forest. Um, but you don't need amazing gear. Obviously all my gems are 20 20 um, But at this point in the league you could buy 20 20 gems for relatively cheap or um, you know, have 1920s and level them yourselves. It's not too bad. Uh, let's see, I think the boss is over here. Kill some of these guys. Get my extra stacks up. And the boss still dies pretty uh, quickly. Um, note that that is with the uh, plus two barrage uh, as well as a dying sun. But that's that. 
Okay, so for this, I just want to go over some of my uh, gearing choices. Um, you can swap around a lot of this. Uh, I'll go over the pieces that I think are um, vital to the build, and then everything else um, you can kind of work around and um, change as you see fit. Um, it's pretty it's pretty customizable overall, but there are some things that give you a lot of damage and uh, make make it viable uh, for clearing and, and going very fast. Um, so I'll start with the most obvious ones. Um, uh, flasks. Uh, you're going to want a crit flask just so you can get the shatters, um, which works with uh, your Pathfinder Ascendancy, uh, as well as uh, gaining extra souls from Chill of Corruption. Uh, Dying Sun, um, I mean, it gives you increased area, which helps a little bit. Um, but, you know, the two projectiles applied to both your po uh, Power Siphon, uh, Kinetic blast, blast, as well as Barrage, uh, making this uh, a huge uh, damage increase um, if you can afford it. Uh, and, if, you know, if you save up and you're playing with this build, uh, you'll definitely be able to get that. Uh, you just got to play. Uh, Quicksilver, obviously just for move speed. Uh, the Jade Flask uh, really uh, boosts my evasion rating um, from Queen of the Forest, which gives me uh, even more move speed. So these two flasks are purely there for um, increase my movement. Um, and then Vessel Vingtar uh, damage to attacks. This is currently the most expensive uh, Vingtar on the market. Um, you can substitute, uh, you know, like a pen one um, if you want uh, early on, but uh, the added to attacks is going to really give you the biggest damage boost, uh, considering your Pathfinder, and uh, that that added lightning damage gets um, increased uh, with your ascendancy, uh, and it's just it's it's the best uh, overall. Okay, uh, so those are the flasks. Um, you can change them around, like if you don't have uh, Queen of the Forest, you can uh, change out the uh, Jade Flask um, and play around with that a little bit. But uh, the ones I'd really recommend are. Uh, these two, as well as the Vinktars, um, for sure. The next item is going to be Esh's Mirror. Um, this is currently one of the most uh, broken items in the game, uh, and they're almost certainly going to, to nerf it, uh, just because um, the way it interacts with speed clear and uh, the fact that grinding gear games has really demonstrated that they uh, don't like speed clear um, with the most recent nerfs to Vol skills. Um, and this is a Vol skill uh, build, so uh, probably going to get nerfed. Uh, but Esh's Mirror, the way this works is, uh, so it adds 1 to 10 lightning damage uh, for each shocked enemy you've killed recently. Um, and that's really the only thing that matters on this shield. Um, you don't want to upgrade it because that removes the added lightning damage. So just the base Esh's Mirror is, is the best. And it, it has some life on it. Um, and, and lightning resist, but uh, it's you know overall we're, we're just using it for the for the bonus um, lightning damage. Uh, and if I you hold alt, so uh, recently refers to the last four seconds. So every monster you've killed in the last four seconds adds one to ten lightning damage to your attacks, um, which means that uh, as you saw, I, you cl you clear the map very quickly and you move from one pack to the next within four seconds, um, which means that. Uh, you know, you constantly got uh, a giant lightning damage buff um, that just changed from pack to pack, and it's it's very it's very strong. Um, the other, you know, you got to have a wand. Um, you saw I use Piscator's Piscator's is perfectly fine for this build, um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just using a this is like a 317 deep, uh, EDPS uh, wand, um, which is you know. A higher end piece of gear, but um, like I said, you can substitute for Piscator's. Uh, I'm also using Opal Rings with um, some weapon elemental damage and uh, added to attacks. Um, you could just use, uh, you know, some resist rings, some two stones with um, increased elemental damage uh, if you want. Um, you know, they'll, they'll work perfectly fine as, as starter uh, starter rings uh, and. You know, obviously you want a little bit of life. Um, I'm only running four, uh, four point six, um, but you know, you kill things so fast that uh, killing things quickly is really uh, your survivability, not necessarily your dodge and life. Um, 
So that's my other ring. And then I'm obviously running a Biscos. Uh, mine's 100% quantity. Uh, the quantity roll is the only roll that really matters on this because um, it just increases the uh, amount of items you get from, from normal monsters. Uh, very, very, very strong. Uh, if you're running maps, uh, which is what this build is designed to do, um, I would uh, definitely recommend running uh, a Biscos uh, when you can afford it. Um, and Headhunter, uh, this just makes the build more fun. Um, it's it's kind of what this is for. It also gives you strength, um, which with my setup and my tree is, uh, I, I need the strength. Um, but I mean, obviously this is, this is the chase item in Path of Exile. So, uh, you know, end game, if you want to be running with a head on earth, it's, uh, I'd recommend it. Um, and then these are just pretty, you know, grip gloves. They're, they're pretty decent. Um, they've got accuracy, which helps with, uh, barrage, uh, although, running maps it doesn't really matter that much um they've got life and a couple of resists that i need um you could also use uh, uh essence of hysteria gloves that, which give uh added fire damage uh to socketed gems um which you would then use with uh, uh barrage because it, it, it it's just a lot of it, it greatly increases their dam uh, barrage's damage um i'm not using it because i don't uh Feel it's necessary and i also haven't found a uh i haven't bought a pair that has the correct resist to have me evened out um right now so i'm just using these out of convenience rather than them being the best and then uh, i have a crown of eyes um which uh a lot allows increases and in reductions to spell damage to also apply to attacks um which uh i have, I have some spell damage like obviously the wand it's got the implicit 37 percent spell damage that's 30 percent seven percent 37% uh, attack damage um, with Crown of Eyes on. Um, and it also has a little bit of leech, um, but it's only physical damage, so that's not really... Uh, it, it, it doesn't really affect the build. Um, you want to get some other leech uh, from elsewhere, like Vinktars or some points on the tree, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and it also has a little bit of accuracy, which helps. And then, of course, Queen of the Forest. Um, uh, you know, uh, evasion rating gives you uh, movement speed and if I can open up um, so my movement speed is 49% base um, with my I just have generic 30% uh, with uh, resistance and life boots um, and I've also I've also got the the uh, leech enchant but um, the enchant doesn't really matter that much uh, depending on how you build uh, your tree but if I pop all my flasks my movement speed goes up to 144, and if you run a Stib Knight, it goes even higher. Um, and uh, also with, uh, I gain more evasion rating with Frenzy Charges. Um, so now that I've showed you uh, the gear, let's uh, look at the passive tree. Um, and this is pretty customizable. Um, most builds I've seen uh, take go down into the Duelist area, but I'll, I'll show you what I've done and then I'll explain um, why I haven't done that, uh, and it's mostly just personal preference rather than uh, it be this being the better tree. So you know, kind of build it how you want. Just gone for life and evasion, um, as well as uh, elemental damage. Um, the the most notable things I've taken are graceful assault, which gives me onslaught, um, which helps with clearing, point blank, which helps with bosses uh, using with barrage. Um, Obviously, being a Vol skill, you're going to want a Chill of Corruption uh, as well as a Sacrificial Harvest, and you want to get that number as high as possible. 30% is perfect. Um, I don't know how much those cost at the moment, but um, when I bought it, it was fairly cheap. Um, I've also taken uh, one point to Acrobatics, just to, I don't really feel like I need the extra points into Phase Acro uh, for just map clearing. Um, I've also taken uh, the Aura Nodes here, uh, and the purpose of this is simply to run three auras. Um, this is not necessary by any means. You could just run Grace and Herald of Ice uh, for cleanup and shatters, um, and Grace is for movement speed. Uh, the only reason I'm running Herald of Thunder is for uh, underground mobs and helps a little bit. I emphasize a very, very small amount with uh, cleanup uh, in maps. Uh, then I'm uh, just pathing through more life. Uh, I take this cluster here with Intuitive Leap, uh, which I like because it saves me one, two, three, four, five points. 
um, and I am able to take nullification as well as the power and frenzy charge here, which uh, helps me since I have the evasion rate per frenzy charge node. Um, and then more life, uh, lightning damage. Um, I don't currently have Throat Seeker just because I don't feel like it's necessary um, to invest a point there since I don't, I'm pretty strapped for points even at level 98. Um, but you know, this allows this will be my next point. Um, or if you're running bosses, uh, um, this is going to be uh, out, you're going to want to take this. Um, this wand damage cluster up here is very good. You don't want to get tempest blast; it's not necessary. But everything up to it is very good. Um, the flask charges uh, or uh, flask effect and, and duration node uh, from Alchemist is uh, obviously very good since you're Pathfinder. Um, power charges, you know, and I'm taking the spell damage for power charge. As well because this gives me 20% increased attack damage with crown of eyes um, when I have five power charges up and then I'm just taking uh, some more life uh, <clears throat> the other option you can have uh, choose to take when when building this tree is to come down here uh, into art of the gladiator just path down uh, life uh, you get projectile damage which is kind of nice there's also a frenzy charge life and a, and a jewel socket down here uh, as well as if you want to take some leech nodes, um, you can get these as well. But with this tree, you could, you're, you're also able to take um, uh, the manual leech node here if you don't want to uh, run the mind drinker uh, intuitive leap setup, because this is not worth two points, right? When you can just get the same uh, effectiveness, 0.4% uh, leech um, with uh, other nodes. Okay, so uh, next is gem setups. Uh, this is just what I have. You can customize it um, to your own uh, liking. And uh, certainly there's multiple choices you can uh, look at with path building. Uh, so if you wanna do that, or if you have any questions, you can obviously uh, send me a message and ask me about it. Um, but for me, I'm just using uh, three setups. Um, one's barrage with added lightning, elemental focus, and elemental damage with attacks. Um, the next is Kinetic Blast with uh, Ice Bite uh, just for easy Frenzy Charge generation. And it also adds a little bit of cold damage, but that's not uh, as as important as um, the Frenzy Charges uh, GMP, as well as uh, Elemental Damage with Attacks. And then the last setup is the Vault Power Siphon setup. So this is the, yeah, you know, the signature uh, setup of the build. Um, and in this, I'm running two Vault Power Siphons with increased crit, lightning damage, uh, and lots of damage with attacks, as well as chain. Um, the biggest challenge for this setup is getting the five off-color Queen of the Forest. Although, as I showed you, you can uh, run a Tabula or, um, yeah, I mean, or something else if you, if you don't like Queen of the Forest or you don't have one that uh, has the right colors. And you, all, you also don't have, need to run the added lightning damage if you don't want. Um, and the reason for running two Vault Power Siphons, um, I tried running one and it's harder to maintain. Having two just makes it uh, much easier to chain from pack to pack. Um, if you want to try one, you, you're welcome to try that. Um, it's not like it won't work, it's just a little more inconsistent from my, my experience. Um, as for auras, uh, I have Herald of Ice. This is probably one of the most important auras of the build because it allows you to uh, shatter and, and it's just good for cleanup in general. So I have this linked with uh, Curse on Hit, uh, Onslaught, and Poacher's Mark. Um, Poacher's Mark, like Ice Bite, is simply there to generate uh, frenzy charges. Um, and having this, link, this setup linked um, makes it very easy to maintain uh, five frenzy charges with my setup. Um, Onslaught is just there for a little extra bonus, and then obviously Curse on Hit uh, procs the Poacher's poach Mark. <clears throat> the second setup is uh, Herald of Thunder and Grace. Um, I have the Grace uh, simply for the evasion rating and the movement speed uh, that it gives me with Queen of the Forest. Um, and then those are linked with Enlighten uh, just to you know, uh, help me reserve mana. Uh, I also have uh, one uh, aura cluster on the tree that uh, helps with this and allows me to run three instead of just uh, two. If you're going to run two, uh, Grace and uh, Herald Device are um, perfectly acceptable. Uh, the Thunder doesn't really add too much uh, to the build itself. Um, and as for the links of my wand, I just have a minion life with Ice Golem and a Flame Dash. 
the flame dash is just for utility. Like if there's a ledge you just don't want to run around or um, you know whatever else you might want to dash through, uh, it helps a little bit. Um, it's not hugely important, and the ice column itself uh, gives you crit and accuracy. Um, but for generic mapping, uh, it doesn't. Uh, it's not necessary. You can you can switch this three link to whatever you want. Um, maybe uh, some kind of cast some damage taken, a mortal call setup um, if you want. But uh, this is just what I have. Um, and all, all these setups, uh, you know, test for yourself if, if you're going to run this build. Um, there's definitely uh, some customization to be had. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is the first video I've ever made, so you know if I made mistakes or if I missed something or um, whatever else I, I may have, uh, you know, left out, um, feel free to you know send me a message. Um, I also stream occasionally. I, I'll link that in the description in case you want to uh, come by and, and ask me questions there. Um, uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great day.